Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of oh, Mix Morris. Got a little Riley boy with me today again. Um, Mummy's in bed and she's in a little kip, isn't she? Because you've been awake very early this morning again, as usual. Yeah? The good guys, I just told you, you a holiday. I need to charge you down to come and do. <laughs> we are going on holiday very, very soon. So and Turkey. Going to Turkey, yeah. And got suitcase. Yeah, I've got a suitcase, yeah. You're very, very excited. Um, Okay, so just a little video, I think. Um, yeah. I don't think it'll be a big one. Um, looks like it's going to be a, a repair job on the lawnmower. Just a bloke has messaged me to say that he's got a Mountfield uh, HP, I think it's a 164, um, with the RS engine on top, um, and, and it's hunting like like mad. Um, I only just started doing it, so he um, he messaged me to say, could I take a look at it and could I possibly fix it? Um, to which I said yes I could. Um, so we have a quick look at it, um, see what it's actually doing and then we'll get it in on the bench and see if we can't uh, correct the hunting issue. So it's going to be a carburetor because it's got a hunt on it so um, it should be a standard carburetor. We'll see how clean it is, um, if it needs to go into the uh, old solid cleaner or not. Um, not quite sure if we'll take it apart. So without further ado Riley boy, let's get down, let's get dirty and let's check out this Mountfield lawnmower. Okay, here it is. You may be getting a little bit of wind interference. Um, I'm not going to be out here long, so I don't see the need to put the mic on. So this is the Mountfield HP164 um, with the RS100 overhead valve, 100cc engine on top. Um, he's had it. He's had it all running. Had it from new. It's probably just over out of warranty um, let's see and find a date on it uh, 2017 so it's literally just just approaching the uh, the two-year-old mark and it come or it has approached it and um, it has a two-year warranty but that's now no invalid so he's uh, bought it to me to be looked at so let's just fire it up and see what it's doing Definitely has a fuel delivery problem because as soon as you push a primer bulb, uh, it runs a little bit better. So let's get up on the bench and uh, take this carburetor off. Right, are you ready, Riley? I know, I like boy. Are you ready? Sorry, are you ready, then, Riley boy? Yeah. All right, let's have a look then. What did you <laughs> Daddy fouled at the first hurdle, can't even get your hair pops undone. Let's, get a, one. let's get a uh, flat headed screwdriver. You're not. That's it. Oh, the air filter's not uh, in the best of condition. Yeah. It's been leaking a lot of fuel, which tells me it has got a carburetor issue. Now, this isn't a service, this is just purely a repair. I help. He doesn't want it, um, doesn't want it to serviced up. Right, I've got the 10 mil. Let's uh, remove that one. Of that one. Now me, my forceps are currently on another engine um, being used, so I may have to use a set of mole grips or something along that line. I've got a pair of mole grips here that'll have to do. Ready? I need to invest in a couple of pairs of these um, these uh, clamps to uh, clamp off the fuels. Yes, Riley. That's a clamp, so I can clamp the fuel off, buddy. Mine. Are yours? Yeah. Are they? Since when did you buy a set of mole grips? Hey. Okay. Let's try and tease that off. There's an air filter, air breather pop on the back, which is stopping me from doing so. Ready? Yeah. I'll try and remove that. My hands are too big to get in there. There it goes. And we've got a primer bulb. Um, hose as well, 
to remove without breaking it. I love you too, boy. Okay, that's the airbox off. <clears throat> Two little tiny um, clips. They can come off as well, because I'm only going to lose them if I don't, uh, if I don't be careful. And remove the fuel line clamp. And we get a bit of spillage here because these are not the best clamps on the world I've got on here. Hopefully it won't leak too much. As I've got it. Um, you can pull the carburetor out slightly. I've got a spring to remove off the top and an arm to move off. There goes the arm. And there goes the spring. <coughs> Pardon me a lot to leave this gasket behind if I can. That'd be good. Well, a bit of fuel leakage now, it's coming out of the main fuel pipe. So there's the carburetor. Let me take the engine, uh, the lawnmower off of the um, stand. And I'll put the carburetor into a tray and we'll uh, have a look to see how bad it is. Okay, got the carburetor. Let's start with just cracking the bowl open. It looks like there's a lot of gunk down here. Let's see what sort of here. Yeah, we've got a yellow color fuel. Tip the car back to one side. So I want to see what's inside this bowl. Yeah, got a bit of sediment in the bottom of the bottom of the bowl, which is uh, not helping. It doesn't look too bad. It looks just like just a bit of old fuel. Um, but I need to get to a main jet. Yeah, it's actually congealed fuel in there. So let's try and get this main jet out. That's the next thing to do. Hopefully it'll play ball. <coughs> Hopefully it'll play ball. <coughs> but there's no saying that it will. It is only two years old. Yeah, it's gonna come. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> Pardon me. Still this frog in the throat. Um right amount of turns so I know when to, when to put it back <clears throat> I know where it goes so it's currently sat, sat at around about uh, let's call that uh, two o'clock so one take the time of it it's well in there let's have a look yeah, a bit of gunk in there. And it actually looks like there's actually a bit of a, a seal gone on that. Which is stuck. And that will be off of that little tiny O-ring to spare. So I need to get a new one of those. I've got, one, I've got some carburetors that I have for spares of them anyway. So I've got to do that. <coughs> To be fair, this carburetor doesn't look too dirty. Uh, what's the main jet look like? Yep, yeah, that's perfect. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Absolutely beautiful. So it must be actually within the carburetor itself we have a blockage. So I'm gonna spray some WD-40 and air compress through uh, these two holes, through this hole here. I don't know if there's gonna be one behind here. Yeah, there's one behind here as well, through there. Just to make sure it's all flowing exactly how it should do. If I can get that gasket off, that would be absolutely fantastic. But it looks like it's gonna to start to tear, so I'm gonna go a bit careful with that. I don't want to rip it any more than what I need to. There it goes. So that's that gone. So I've got to need to get into here as well. Yeah. Um, there'll be nothing behind this one. Uh, I'll get a quick clean and then I'll come back. Okay, so actually, I've managed to find one that's got one in it and this is exactly the same as the other there's no difference in that whatsoever so that'll be kept as a spare i'll get another ring for it and uh that would be a, a good one to keep so i just want to put some spray through that just to make sure that's running yeah OK, 
Okay, carburetor's been blown through. And that can now sit down to there. They go a bit careful. That should be the same diameter. It's come out of roughly the same carburetor. It should go. Although it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to. So let me get that other the other one and that's, that ring's got to come off. Two ticks. So here's the donor which is going to be no good. Do what? The donor. What's that? It's a, a piece of equipment that is going to, was going to replace the old one. I need to try and get underneath this rather than pierce it. There it goes. Oh. That's that one. Let me put it onto the other one. Okay, I've got the, uh, the other one. I'll put it back by accident. And that can now be picked up and be placed over the top of that. Like so. Give it a clean. My hands are dirty. Doesn't seem to be running very well. Let me get an air compress. Let's see if that's now running. Yeah, running ever so slightly. I don't think I have a file small enough to go into there. Let me just try and unblock that. Okay, I've got a running. That should now go into there. Yeah, that fits better. That can go back in. Oh, is that one? What was it? Six and a quarter turns from um, done up tight. <clears throat> That's tight. So we're going to go. So that's tight there. That's six, five. Oh, not lost count. That's quarter. One, two, three, four, five. Do it. Okay, to be fair, I'm not seeing a great deal wrong with this um, with this lawnmower, apart from the fact that that bottom seal had gone. I'm hoping that the donor part will be enough to uh, get it to run. Everything else seems to be exactly where it needs to be. working. Put the bowl back on. I'll give that bowl a bit of a clean first before I do it because that had congealed stuff in it. Doesn't need a big clean, just wants a 
a little one. Just get rid of that sediment. That's in the bottom. Let's get rid of that. goes on and we want to go that way around like that. Bolt and go back on. Just nick it up with uh, my D wall ever so gently and then back up with 10 mil. We get lawnmower back in and then we're refit this carburetor. Right let's try and get this carburetor back together where we can. Gasket goes on. Followed by the carb. I want to check that fuel before I do any more. Just to see what's going on with the fuel. So that's what colour we're getting. Yeah, feels really good. Feels fantastic actually. So, fuel pipe goes back on, followed by the clamp. We've got an arm to put on, and we've got a spring to put on as well, which goes on that one there. Yes, buddy. Say again. What? You can go to McDonald's, are you? Well, you're a very lucky boy. You're a very lucky boy indeed. Fuel line gets disconnected. Um, we've got a primer bulb to put on, which is working. There's nothing wrong with a primer bulb. And we've got an air intake pipe as well. So primer bulb line goes on first. That's a bit of a trick, yes. You can't see what I'm doing because it's hidden behind here but it's, it's self-explanatory where it goes and how it goes on. It's got a little tiny metal clip just push it over top which has gone too far what I need it to. So my big hands that's it and then the air filter pipe goes on once the carburetors uh, all been fitted push that on and then I've got two little tiny of those metal sleeves haven't I to put on which would be in here somewhere. There we are. And just go on the studs and they go through the air filter box and push in. And they just help centralise the air box onto the studs. Like that. Two ten mils. Where's me old uh, there it is. That's cost threaded. Okay, that's on. The next thing I want to do is just get my 10 mil. I just want to bring some fuel down to the bottom of that carburetor just by cracking the little 10 mil nut and taking fuel down to the bottom yeah we've got fuel coming out now so now I know that carburetor has got fuel in it do that up I have 
haven't had much success with these, to be honest. I've had two or three of these in this year, all with fuel problems, and I think two I couldn't stop hunting. I had to have new carburetors put on them. So fuel line's not kinked anywhere, not doing anything it shouldn't do. Fuel cap is good, so it's not, uh, it's creating a vacuum. It's gonna prime this up. Yeah, I'm getting fuel coming through onto the carburetor as I should do. So I'll put the air cover back on, uh, we'll take it outside and we'll try and fire it up. Right, we'll go for fire up, see what happens. So we'll do it. Let's check the plug, see what's going on with the plug. So this has got a Torx one in it, which is not my favourite. They do tend to fail. change these um, housings now. Carburetor back off, and I'm gonna put it in the old sonic cleaner. Okay, so I've got the uh, carburetor inside of the bath, and we're just now gonna pour some water in there, pour it on the grinder. Nice, right, so put a touch more in there just to fill it up. It's nearly there, but I just want to make sure it's full right up to the brim. Okay, that's about ready to time out. That's now had that's now had uh, 15 minutes each side. Let's see what it looks like. The water isn't horrendous, but I wasn't expecting it to be either because the carb actually is in good, is in really good clean condition, but. It's not functioning how it should do. So hopefully, we now might have cured this. The only way to do it is to, to find out is to blow it through um, the air compressor again to get rid of all the fluids, and to uh, refit it to the engine and try again. If it's not going to work, then it's going to be um, a new carburetor. As I say, I have had not a great deal of success with these. They do tend to be quite finicky on the carburetors. I've had two or three, I think it's two I've had this year that have caused me issues. So let me get it fit back to the engine and um, once I've blown it out and we'll go from there. I just wanted to show you what's actually in the bottom of this old oh, cleaner. And this is spotless when I put it in. And that's what's come out. So 
that could be bits of gasket maybe I'm not quite sure but as I say I'm gonna refit it blow it out refit it and then we'll go from there right can't back on I'm just gonna put this spark plug back in which is a torque one because they've changed the HT lead on these machines now and it has to be with a smaller head I don't have no spares So I'll put that in. I'll get it a good clean as well. It should help it. But as I say, if it's not this, it's going to be a new carburetor. I've had to do it on two before. We shall see. Very shortly. So we're getting fuel down. We're priming beautifully. So that little Mountfield lawnmower is now up and running exactly how it should do. I give it the 15, 10, 15 minute test and uh, the hunting has settled right down all together and the gentleman's just now come along and picked it up and he's super impressed. And even more impressed that the lawnmower has turned around in just a couple of hours. So um, he can now go off and cut his grass. I've just advised him about keeping his fuel levels rotated so that um, rather than buying five litres and that lasting sort of two months, just to buy um, three litres and go to the petrol station a bit more often because the fuel was congealed so um, all in all I'm super impressed with my little ultra site cleaner um, I did a manual clean as you saw first off which I thought the carburetor looked really good um, but just goes to prove with the ultra site cleaner the actual stuff I got out of the carburetor after half an hour 15 minutes each side at about 60 degrees um, and the carburetor jumps back into life again so now I've got that I'm, I'm gonna put a bit more faith into that I think um, I might try and experience with some degreasing products um, designed for the ultrasonic cleaner, but it does quite well with just very liquid and a bit of hot water. So um, I've got a little little way to go with that, but um, I'm overall very, very impressed. So that's good. So thank you very much for watching me on this episode of Mixed Mowers today with regards to a Manfred lawnmower. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, found it informative. Don't forget to tap the old subscribe button, whack the old bell. I'll have to see you all again very, very soon. Until then, don't forget, take it easy. Do you feel the pain?